Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page four of Yuletide. Page four of Yuletide, it's gonna be a nice deep pocket, nine by six and a half, nine inches across, six and a half inches tall. You're gonna score three of the four sides. And then on top, we are going to have a flap closure that'll keep everything inside the pocket, and that is eight by three and a half, eight by three and a half. You're gonna score a half inch on the three and a half inch side. Okay, so let's get started. You find my pick tool, which I don't see. It's currently blending in somewhere. So I'm just gonna use this in the meantime because it will take the tape off. Not my favorite tool because I poke myself with it. In a few minutes, I'll, when I take a break, I'll find my, my pick tool. Half the time I clean up my desk and it gets thrown in the trash. I, I, I get a little overzealous and throw away useful tools. Okay. There we go. Okay, this is gonna go flush on the bottom part of page four. So make sure your pocket openings are to the left and right. So I think that's where I plan to cut it. Okay, there we go. And then this flap is going to go on the top. There we go. Shoot. That grabbed a little too soon. I'm going to try to pull it off. Start again. Mm. Okay. I have to put a little glue on here. Normally I like to put one corner down and pivot the paper until I feel like it's right in place. There we go. Okay, so that is that. And now I'm gonna draw a quick line here so that we can see that we have to place our magnet above that line. Burnish that. Okay, good, good. So the image that I chose for this is from the 12 by 12 collection pack and it's because I wanted a very strong image because the, the photos will be actually, I plan to stow them inside of um, the pocket. So the outside of the, um, the pocket is really decorative. So I took an additional splice off the top and that is um, intended to go here to line the pocket so that when you open this up, you have a full image. So I'm 
put it in upside down. There we go. Doesn't that look nice? Snap shut and then here I'm going to take the rest of the 12 by 12 that was trimmed off and make the cover the flap. So I need to trim this really quick. Okay, be right back. Okay, let's check it out. It should be enough. Just need to ink and glue. There we go. Now we need to find something for the B side. So give me a minute and I'll be right back. Hey, it's me, I'm back. I trimmed this off of the 12 by 12 collection pack and it has most of the pages this and then there's a little floral spray um, down on the corner. So I just thought it was nice to pull this pattern back in. So we'll ink it, lay it down. Or hook tool. It's here somewhere. Before I start on my next page, I will find it. I think I'm going to put that little, little tiny bit of lace on the top. Just making sure I've got a good seal around the magnet because it is pretty close to the edge of the designer paper. All right. There we go, there's page five. So I'm going to put a nice big photo mat in here. And what am I thinking? Well, it's so we've got an eight by eight page. So I'm gonna try a seven by seven, see how that slides in. Be right back. Okay, this is from the uh, 8x8 collection pack, um, and it's the coordinating pattern with the top here, smaller scale. So I'm gonna use the flip side and cover this seven by seven insert for our pocket. Okay, and then depending on how much um, is left at the end, um, I may decide to actually cover the back side, but I'm gonna leave it uh, just the way it is for now. I have to uh, finish planning the rest of my pages to know whether or not I'll have any papers left over to enhance the back side. Okay, and then you still see that same pattern coming into play here. The other thing I'm 
might do is put the dark brown cardstock behind it just so it stands out a little bit more against the pocket. Okay, so that is page four. Be back soon.